What's up guys? It's a wanted turtle and today we have a very different kind of video. We are doing the top 10 list for the cards that I am most excited for coming out in Unified Minds. Uh, it's a huge set, so many different cards and we're going to go through the top 10 that I think are going to be very relevant in the Pokemon TCG metagame. Let's get into it. Okay, coming in at number 10, we have Celebi. And at first glance, this thing is nothing to be too excited about. 80 HP, basic type, and however, this is very much a tech card, uh, which is going to be primarily used for Time Spiral, which is, there's been other cards that do basically can do some kind of de-evolution. So for one Grass Devolve, one of your opponents evolve Pokemon by shuffling highest stage into your opponent's deck. So, not only does it... Um, devolve them uh, but also puts it in their opponent's deck so they would have to draw it again and the important thing here I feel like this is super useful for when people skip from skip stage one by using rare candy or something along those lines to get to stage two and then when you devolve it like you don't get your rare candy back uh, so I feel like this card um, it's probably just like a one of in some decks especially if there's some kind of stage two super really uh, Pokemon that's really strong in the current meta Okay, number nine, we have Giant Hearth. So this is very similar to Heat Factory. It's kind of, or it's kind of like the reverse, but very specific to Fire type. Where if you discard a card from your hand, you can search your deck for two Fire Energy. Um, versus Heat Factory, which you discard a Fire Energy and then you draw three cards. Uh, but the thing about this one is not a Prism Star. And so this is kind of like a kind of like a tr tr uh, Stadium card that. Um, you know, assuming that your your opponent's not playing a fire type, that only helps you. And compared to Heat Factory, where they can simply get rid of it, this you know, since it's not a Prism Star, it's not limited by that. Uh, so I do feel like it's just a lot easier to keep in play uh, compared to that. And it's super annoying when your uh, when your opponent has a stadium that does does nothing for you and is consistently helping uh, your opponent thin out their deck and create a lot of uh, card advantage. So Giant Hearth comes in at number nine. Okay, number eight, we have Keldeo GX. I always thought this guy reminds me of Gumby. <laughs> it's like a unicorn that belongs in the Gumby show. But this is going to be the new Pokemon that is kind of like, um, hey, you can't do any damage to me. So it does have the effect, Holy Heart, prevent all effects of all attacks, including damage done by done to this Pokemon by your opponent's GX and EX Pokemon. So that means any GX, any tag team can't hurt Keldeo. And while this is not nothing new, uh, I think that this one is going to be uh, very relevant in the near future because of uh, Guzma rotating out. Um, you know, getting Keldeo out of the active is not going to be trivial. And the fact that he is water uh, obviously means that he can cut right through any uh, Reshizard decks. Even though his attack for two water, one colorless, which is very inefficient, uh, only does 110 damage. It, that's okay because yeah, without Guzma, how are you going to get him out of the active? There's only so many ways you can do that at that point. And its GS attack is nothing special. Um, does 50 damage for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Um, yeah, it's definitely powerful, but you know I wouldn't say it's extraordinary. Ex like it's super strong or anything like that. Just a solid GX attack, and yeah, a water type that you can't do damage to. Sounds pretty good to me. Coming in at number 8, we have Reset Stamp. Very interesting trainer card. Um, very similar to, I think it was N not too long ago. But this one is a trainer, not a supporter. Your opponent shuffles their hand into their deck. And your opponent draws card a card for each of their remaining prize cards. So, this is kind of like... Um, the downside of this is you don't want to draw in the beginning. However, towards late towards the end of the game especially if you're losing this thing I feel like can really turn around matches where you just choke your your opponent as far as their uh, cards in their hand um, and yeah just really suffocate them from the options that they have on their turn so I feel like reset stamp is couldn't be a very interesting card the um, the only thing that kind of goes against it is you know tag teams are very relevant right now so when you go from three to zero like yeah three is bad but my I guess the important thing is like we only need one knockout yet left uh, compared to if you're down to one prize card you only have one card in that would be super annoying so 
Reset stamp coming in at number 7. For number 6 we have Heatran GX. So this thing is kind of like the fire version of Tapu Koko GX, very similar uh, with a couple of slight differences. So Burning Road, once in your turn, when this Pokemon moves from your bench to your active, you remove any number of fire energy from your Pokemon to it. And he does have a explosive stamp for 130 for two fire, one colorless, and lastly, Heat Burst GX, 50 damage for each fire energy attached to this Pokemon. So first off, if you do have a bunch, this can be a very strong finisher. Uh, if you have a, just a bunch of Pokemon, a bunch of energy in play, you just move them out there and you accumulate all the energy and use Heat Burst GX. And so, but I, for me, the important thing is the Burning Road ability. Um, just so the difference between that and Keld or Tapu Koko is that Ta Tapu Koko kind of like not only does it do that, but it does it when he enters the bench. Uh, and forces himself into the active where Heatran GX you do have to do it yourself with retreating or some other uh, switch or something like that but uh, it does mean you can reuse it so it's kind of more verse it might be more um, less specific than Tapu Koko uh, however it has a very similar ability uh, so I do feel like these kind of things where they can just um, accumulate a bunch of energy and then attack are very useful kind of like um, surprise attack cards to have in your deck Alright, we're halfway there. For number 5, we have Tortuga. This guy is like the perfect sea turtle Pokemon. I I love it. Um, what does his attacks do? What do, Doesn't matter. What happens when he evolves? Doesn't matter. <laughs> number 5, Tortuga. Coming in in number 4, we have one of the most unique cards, in my opinion, in Unified Minds. is Mewtwo and Mew GX Tag Team. So... The primary thing about him is he doesn't have an attack that is non-GX, so instead he has Ability Perfection. This Pokemon can use attacks of any Pokemon GX on your bench or discard pile. That means he is not a very good active uh, to uh, right off the bat and when you start your, your, um, your match. However, he also does have a GX attack for Miraculous Duo GX, does 200 damage for 2 Psychic, 1 Colorless, and if you have an additional extra energy on it, it also heals all your Pokemon, which I think is awesome. I feel like his GX is one of the best. Um, so now it comes down to kind of like, oh, well, what does he do in the meantime? Um, so it's important to note that you can uh, kind of like tech in some uh, different kind of like energy types. Uh, it doesn't need to be psychic. That you just need the energy to do it. In fact, you can use. In, if you if you're not going to use miraculous duo, you can actually have any type you want. Um, as far as what he copies. But so the uh, one GX card that I think will be really useful for him is our next one. Coming in at number three, we have Latios GX. And this is, uh, it's a very interesting card, and I feel like it's a perfect target for Mewtwo Mew GX. Um, Alright, so this GX comes at 170 HP, so compared to Mew and Mewtwo, it's an um, additional 100, although obviously it's a tag team, or Mew and Mewtwo is a tag team. And this has a weird ability. If you have four or less Pokemon in play, this Pokemon can attack. Very strange, never, maybe there's been other times that I've had stuff like this, uh, but obviously it's a bit of a handicap. And then Tag Purge, this thing is awesome. One Psychic, two, col two Colorless for 120. Only 120, but prevent all do damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from Tag Team Pokemon during your opponent's next turn. So, if, they're, if your opponent's deck revolves completely around Tag Teams, this thing basically protects it entirely. It's almost like a Keldeo in that regard. Um, only for Tag Team specifically. And I feel like this is a perfect target for Mew Mewtwo and Mew GX. Um, where this has 270 HP, it's going to be hard to knock them out, and then obviously the most, the strongest Pokemon are going to be those tag team cards. However, they can't do any damage on you as long as you use Tag Purge GX. And then Clear Vision GX until the end of your game, your opponent can't use their GX. Uh, I'm never too crazy about GX attacks that actually don't do anything to your opponent, do anything to knock out your opponent. Um, however, this is kind of just a one for one. You know what? I don't want your your GXs are stronger than mine. So maybe on my first turn before I can use Tag Purge, I'm just going to use Clear Vision just to wipe away both of our GX attacks. Coming in at number two, we have another card that is very uh, potentially very good for Mewtwo and Mew GX. We have Naganadal GX. So this card 
is useful on the bench as well, which is perfect for Mewtwo and Mew. Um, with Ultra Conversion, once during your turn, you may discard an Ultra Beast from your hand if you do draw three cards. Anything that is any kind of draw card a card draw engine is super strong that's where zorark was so relevant for basically his entire his entire career in his in the rotation um so that's uh and obviously you'll have poiples and naganados since it does need to evolve so you should have a good amount of cards that you can kind of use this uh, as your card draw engine and then we have venom shot for um, one Psychic, three Colorless, discard two energy from this Pokemon, so you can just discard DCE, does 170 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. It can be any of them. Uh, so, you know, anything that's on your bench, nothing is safe from Naganadal GX, and so just a very strong uh, attack. Then we have Injection GX. I'm not crazy about this. I, I think it's very different. I'm not too crazy about this attack. Add a card from your opponent's discard panel to their prize cards. So, basically what that means is you slow down your opponent. Um, the reason I'm not too crazy about this, I don't like the idea of, I like the idea of going for the win better than making sure your opponent doesn't get the win, if that makes sense. And it's kind of awkward because it does use a lightning energy, um, compared to, in my opinion, Venom Shot is better, so you'll probably be focusing more on psychic energy. To our number one card for Unified Minds, Dragonite GX, the card that I am most excited for in the upcoming set. Dragonite GX, a uh, 250 HP um, stage 2, Dragon Claw for <clears throat> water, electric, and a, D and a colorless for 130. And we're going to go to his GX ability first. Mock Delivery, uh, you may discard any number of cards from your hand, then draw until you have 10 cards. Sounds pretty good, but again, I'm not a fan of any kind of GX attack that doesn't actually do anything to knock out your opponent uh just to reset your hand again like that reset stamp <laughs> imagine using your gx card to fill your hand up reset stamp boom down to uh, anywhere from one to six cards so really not a big fan of that that gx attack however sky judgment is where it's at 270 damage um basically knock out any pokemon doesn't matter <laughs> you don't have a choice band that's okay compared to like peek around it's like oh well I, I need electro powers as well no you don't sky judgment 207 damage done deal your opponent pokemon is knocked out it does have the downside to discard three energy from this pokemon but it is a evolution it is a stage two so this is where that triple acceleration triple acceleration really shines that thing's gonna go away anyway so you use that as your discard then you can sky judgment again assuming you can get that back that triple acceleration energy that can knock out anything no tag teams are safe the fact that they all have 270 hp doesn't yet matter anymore to dragonite gx this guy is the tag team destroyer and that is why this is the card that i am most excited for in Unified Minds. Okay, so we do have one bonus card. Uh, when I was creating the list, I definitely meant to include Garchomp and Giratina. Uh, but I think the Tortuga actually messed up my counting of top 10. Uh, but I do think this is going to be possibly one of the strongest ones. Uh, so Gear Garchomp Giratina, first off, the art looks amazing. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what's going on, but either Garchomp is helping Giratina come into like this dimension or, or whatever, or uh, to be honest, sometimes it looks like they're actually about to fight each other, but I, that's obviously not the case. Uh, coming in at 270 HP, which is pretty standard for uh, tag teams uh, at this point, and for its attacks, the linear attack is actually, I feel like, underwhelming but at the same time might be just good enough for a colorless energy 40 damage to one of your opponent's pokemon it can be their bench it could be their active and i do think 40 is a good number i feel like 30 would be just terrible i feel like there's a lot of stuff at 70 that will be on it's very likely to be on your opponent's deck things like drachi come to mind things like marshadow come into mind um jump pluff uh for lost march so I feel like, you know, it doesn't one hit KO much, but it does have that utility of being able to two shot things um, that it's very likely that your your opponent may have. So it kind of can be a, a nice way to pick up that last KO or something like that last last prize card. Uh, moving on to a second attack, I feel like is super strong, but it does obviously require some setup. Psychic fighting and colors don't like those 
uh, that energy variation. Uh, however, 160 damage. If your opponent's active Pokemon art has any damage counter design, it does an additional 80. So, the big thing that we're looking for in tag team cards is how can we one hit KO something? And while this is definitely very strong, uh, you do need a damage counter on it. So, how can we do that? Um, yeah, I do feel like there's not a whole lot. Like, I wonder if some teching something in like a Shrine of Punishment just to active. Uh, Calamitous Slash is probably the easiest way. Um, things like, I can't remember if Tapu Koko is even going to be rotated out, but that comes to mind. Um, wheezing, but you know, none of those are great. Uh, but then, um, so Calamitous Slash, I feel like has a lot of potential. We just have to, there's just one problem to solve, uh, which is that damage counter already on it. At that point, uh, I feel like the, you know, slap on a uh, choice band and you can one hit KO stuff. Um, all right, then moving on to GGN GX. Uh, this one I feel like is super strong and it has tons of potential. Discard one of your opponent's Pokemon and all cards attached to it. Um, if you have at least three fighting energy, specific fighting energy, that's really important. Discard two of your opponent's Pokemon instead. First off, like I feel like in a number of situations, this will just end the match. Like, all right, you have no more Pokemon, you're done. Uh, but I do think no matter what, this is um, very easy to just Put your opponent off his plan so hard where you are dedicating it's clear that your um this is going to be the the pokemon that your your strategy revolves around and you just remove them from the game all all energy attached to it and they all go to the discard not back to your hand um so this thing i feel it just has a lot of potential it can end games out of nowhere even if it doesn't end the match uh let's say you have a Pikaram and then a bunch of Jirachis and like I don't know a Zapdos that won't be able to end the match um and then all of a sudden the Pikaram is gone and they don't have anything to fall back to maybe all their energies are gone so even if they have like a type of Koko or something that won't be enough to end that won't be enough to wrap up the game so GGN I feel like has tons of potential uh can just be huge swings in any match and Yep, so that, that's the uh, bonus card, I guess, because we did forget about uh, Garchomp and Giratina. All right, and that is my top 10 list for the upcoming set, Unified Minds, set to come out later this summer. Um, if you did enjoy this content, I would definitely uh, would appreciate if you hit that like button down below. If you're not already a sub, um, definitely hit that sub button as well. We do tons of Pokemon opening, Pokemon card openings, as well as some PTCGO content, as well as some stuff from other TCGs as well. So, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for all the support. Like, comment, subscribe, all down below. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.